What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Seth, and we are back again for some more comments video. You'll have to excuse if I'm a little bit groggy. Yes, I only just woke up. That's why this video is coming out late today. So if you guys don't already know what we do with this weekly series is I end up reading a bunch of comments on last week's comments video. Then if we have time, we'll get to some normal comments and then some Twitter comments. So we'll kind of see what happens. But uh, we actually start out very, very strong with a comment from Merck and he understands YouTube now. Thank goodness, uh, because he can actually help me with the title of these videos. So his comment with 72 likes is like this comment so Scythe will be forced to title his next video quitting trove for maple story 2 with the only context to it is being the this comment which is exactly how youtube works isn't it like you you always watch a video like it, you know you watch something by uh pewdiepie for example playing some random game he makes one comment about like making money or not making money in the game or something and then just calls it how i make money on youtube and everybody watches it so that's exactly what we're doing here so uh i guess just to clarify though no i'm not gonna be quitting troll for maple story 2 because surprisingly lots of people do keep asking me that whenever they see the maple story 2 videos i'm gonna be playing maple story 2 alongside trove it's gonna be another big free-to-play game that we're going to have on the channel which i think is awesome the response comments are hilarious by the way merc that was your blood scythe was eating in the munch pack video no that was reptilian blood you fool and then spocky is better frog even though spocky quite literally ripped off merc being the frog i don't understand oh hi merc oh hi mark oh hi i know i look like a child but i'm 15 years old 15 years old is a child to a 500 year old veteran reptilian overlord. Merc, I think my toaster oven exploded. Oh, hi, Merc. Should this video just be called like, oh, hi, Merc? Because that's all it is. Apparently, it's just everybody talking Merc, 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 this, Merc, this. I thought I'd grab this comment before we move to normal ones. He's just saying that I think if I commented on the most reply or the top comment, I'd be more than likely to be in the video. But that's not why I grabbed your comment, dude. I grabbed it because he said, who remembers Sky Saga? You guys remember that? We actually had it many times on the channel. The game starts out strong, got really boring halfway through, and for some reason they just kept having like 15 different closed betas that uh, in the end ended up wiping everything over and over. Yeah, well, you know what? I honestly, when I heard that they lost their publisher, like their, their publisher's not backing the game anymore, so essentially the project is just done until they end up getting a new publisher, I thought, good, good because for some reason they just wouldn't release the game. Hopefully that doesn't happen with MapleStory. No, quit Trove and play Roblox Battle Royale. Does Roblox even have Battle Royale? I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> for rat, instead of first. $300 for medicine? You know how many Papa John's pizzas I can buy with that? I don't think there is Papa John's out here in Canada. Maybe there is, but I've never gone. Uh, for those of you that uh, I, I've been getting a lot of comments, even in my DMs and Discord, people asking like, what? why did you end up spending $300? So here's the way that it works, okay? I didn't want to get into too much detail, but essentially a vet is like a doctor, but worse. So you know when you go to the doctor and you've just got like a mild cough and they try to give you 50 different types of medicine that all cost $50 each? This guy understands it. Animal medicine is very expensive. I've had to pay more for my Russian turtles or turtoys. I could buy 50 Naruto anime dolls. And then he says something in a language I don't understand. I am an anime. <laughs> It would be awesome if you would make dreads. I, I assume that he's talking about the Dreadnought Mountain Trove, in which case you don't craft that mount. Leave a comment on this comment if you want more likes on this comment. Okay, don't tell Merc, but I'm coming for him. Oh, and an unrelated know it, play Terra Tech. No. Cringe overload. Can you T pose? No, but I can uh, W pose. Hair, Trogard, Harry Potter, Harry Scooth. I like cheese on my bananas. I like frogs. Can you take a pen and write on a banana peel and it will bruise the banana where you wrote? What, really? Smarty Pants, that is evil and should not have been done to any banana. Merck's subscribers are only from his weird comments on Scythe's video. No, he actually makes some pretty good videos whenever he actually does get them out. 
What's the max PR for an empowered gem? It's something like 2,251 uh, or something like that. I don't know. Could you eat my comment instead? All right, I'll do just that. Mmm. Oh. Since you spent $300 on your animal, you should use $500 plus on box openings. I already have done, uh, I've gone and done that with all the trove stuff, guys. Like, that's the thing is, I don't, I don't have any more money until I get paid next month. Don't worry, I'm fully expecting that when U10 comes out, there's gonna be even more boxes to end up buying. I'm not gonna be buying Troves of Wonder ever again, though. The Rainbow Man Strikes Again. This is a movie I wanna see. P.S. I really like your spa songs, especially Overdrive. Oh, he's being sincere. Thank you! Scythe, how do I get from 20k PR to 25k PR? I'm gonna have an updated tutorial on how you actually end up getting more PR. I know that lots of people have been requesting it for a very long time, uh, especially with Bound Brilliance not being an item that you can attain in Trove anymore, and, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go into more detail in that video of how you can actually end up spiking with your power rank, why it's going to be much easier to get power rank when U10 comes out, if you haven't already checked out my video from yesterday, and just uh, overall as a whole, how long it should end up taking to max out and augment your gems, because they've actually made that a lot more difficult. White Scythe is Ken Kanaki's Broder. And we don't really have as much time as I thought we did today because I gotta rush this video out because today I'm supposed to be changing uh, Jub Jub's vet. Uh, we gotta go to the gym and we got we got all sorts of things that we gotta do today, dude. But in either case, we're gonna skip over the normal comments. Sorry guys, we're just gonna go straight to the Twitter comments because we got some cool stuff. Who visits your Twitter? What last visits to my profile? I don't even know who this person is. If I visited them, it was years ago. Icy Place has a beautiful Shark Week pixel art, which I don't think that this has anything to do with uh, my channel or anything, but I do like the derpy shark. That's beautiful. XX Gods Plays uh, actually has another, uh, well, a different dragon mod here, which is absolutely beautiful. It changes the immortal dragon that gives no mastery. Please bring this dragon to the game. Hashtag begging. That's a very beautiful dragon. That's a very beautiful dragon, like seriously. There are some really good mods out there, guys, like seriously for some of these dragons that desperately need to get into the game. This one especially, like this is just, this is sublime. I mean, I think I'm a little bit biased towards it because purple is one of my favorite colors, but that is awesome. Last but not least, we'll grab this comment here from iPebble that says, I'm sure you're done with Pixar, but noticed that they have mod pack releases for the community just last week. Just an FYI to see if it's worth a peek. So I do know that Pixar has had mod support for like a week or two. Uh, I have been keeping track of it. Uh, and recently, I ended up actually updating my review of the game to be not recommended until we end up getting some more mods coming to the game. So uh, I am definitely keeping an eye out for it. If we end up actually getting some good mods for Pixar, we could end up going back to it. But honestly speaking, I don't know if the game community around Pixar is big enough that we're going to actually see any good mods. So far, all I've seen is just conversion mods that are coming from Ark into Pixar because essentially it's going to end up being the exact same game. But if we end up getting stuff that adds like more dinosaurs, more playability to the game, maybe like proper loot and dungeons and stuff, and also something that ends up making our characters a lot stronger, and nerfing a lot of the creatures out in the world, then yeah, I could see us going back and just doing a whole other Pixar series, like a modded Pixar series. That would be fantastic. I love the base core of the game, but I don't like the gameplay. It's completely unbalanced and trash. That's gonna do it for this week's comments video, everybody. So thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see one of your comments end up making it into a video, leave a comment down in the comment section down below of this video. There's no guarantee that I'm gonna be able to read them all because, you know, I don't really prioritize which ones I should read even though it's kind of I don't know it's kind of like a Q&A meets like just people leaving comedy comments and stuff like that but in either case I very much appreciate you guys watching do appreciate your support like seriously it means the world to me don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video you can also subscribe and hit that notification bell and if you want to go the extra mile and support me financially so that I can end up buying more boxes and trove you can sponsor the YouTube channel for a monthly fee or you can end up buying some of my merch or if you don't have any money but you still want to support me don't worry there's options for that too. Just check the links down below through your phone for Gawkbox as well as Solidarity app. Those programs will quite literally, well not programs, those apps will quite literally tell you, download this phone game, play it for two minutes, we'll give you five bucks. 
it's not necessarily five bucks and it's not necessarily in that order but still you're going to end up getting free money it's really really good thank you very much for watching though everybody have yourselves a great day and a great week we got some really cool stuff coming out for this week on like trove uh warframe and a bunch of other things hopefully no man's sky finally shine on stay up everybody